Hi, I'm Brittany Hyder and welcome to my Art in a Day. Today we're going to focus on The Thankful Poor by Henry Tanner, which was created in 1894. The reason I chose this piece is because it's such a symbolic piece of art in the African American community. This is not an original piece of Tanner's artwork, but for the sake of this video, we're going to use the replica, and I hope you enjoy it. Starting off on a good note, first I'm going to talk about Henry Tanner, about the art piece, which is The Thankful Poor, the stylistic influences and effects, and finally, what this piece means to me. I hope you all enjoy. The reason why this piece of artwork is so important is because he was one of the first African Americans to achieve such status, reputation, and accomplishments, which therefore made him one of the greatest painters alive. Henry Tanner, he grew up in a very poor environment. He grew up at a time where race and color played a very big part. And through his artwork, he chose to show the viewers what the people of his color are going through and what they experience. This piece of art is a portrait of an elderly man sitting down for supper with his grandson. Their heads are bowed down, praying. The old man's hands are rough and the boy's clothes are ragged, so you can tell that they don't come from a lot and that they don't have a lot of money. And the picture table's plain with not much on it, but the message I feel Tanner is trying to portray is that they are humble for what they have, which is hard-earned dignity, which is the beauty of this piece. Tanner used compositional and atmospheric effects to show that he's a realist painter. The painting's an oil painting. He used exact mannerisms of his subjects and inspirations. Ultimately, this, this picture contains a realistic approach, which contains all the emotions and captures what's going on in this picture. The objects on the table seem to be clearer than the, than the subjects in the picture. And the reason why the objects on the table are clearer than the people in the picture is because it, he's using this to create a spiritual stillness. The stylistic influences of this painting was influenced by everyday life of an African American by telling their story and portraying it and illustrating it and giving it a meaning. Tanner had some very stylistic influences which can also be categorized into Impressionism. Impressionism was a logical development of realism and it was concerned with optical realism and natural properties of light. Shadows usually reflect the important features of their work and they usually observe society. When it comes to Impressionists, they usually prefer genre subjects. The work is created in a realistic approach, catching emotions and mood. The reason I feel Tanner fits the Impressionist style is because of where he came from. He lived and he studied in Paris. Tanner's artwork responded to African Americans because he wanted them to represent, and in his own words, the serious and pathetic side of life among them. With other things being equal, he had the most sympathy for his subjects, which gave him the best results in his artwork and brought out the best in him. As seen in the painting, the, the grandfather and the grandson, they're praying before the meal. Thus, the grandfather is instilling a life blessing. Pray and be thankful for what you have. and Thank God for what he's given you. In the picture, the arrows are pointing at different lightings, which indicates the tone of the mood. The mood in the picture is quiet devotion from the grandfather and grandchild among the main objects in their home. The expressive lighting reinforces the painted spirit, with the deep shadows intensifying the man's concentration and the golden light pouring in the, sh in the windows illuminates the quiet expression of giving thanks for their meal. And it's a humbling moment in humbling themselves for what they have even if it may be a little. The main reason why I chose to talk about this piece of art because I remember from a very, very long time ago when I was little, this piece of painting is in my grandma's house. And I remember every time I went over there, I saw that piece of painting and I would look at it and try to figure out, okay, what's going on in this picture? What's the lesson being learned? And you can look at it and see that the grandfather is teaching this child a lesson. He's teaching his child to humble himself. He's teaching his child to pray. And he's teaching his child to be grateful. This piece of art is very important in the African American community because not only is this a picture from the past, this is a picture of what everybody is still being instilled today. For as a young child, from the grandparents, from the parents, it's a very important piece. 
This picture is so realistic that you can feel and see the emotions and the mood going on in this picture. When I get out of this picture, when I look at it, the emotions that I see is faith, hope, gratitude, and humbleness. It's a very good picture and as I get my own house, I hope to have this picture in my home. And then at the same time, when I have kids, I can teach my kids lessons and show them the lessons that are occurring in this picture. I thank you for your time, for listening to me throughout this video. I appreciate you and thank you for being in my art in a day. I hope you enjoyed it.